Today, student at home, is time for government class. Today, we'll be looking at federalism in Nigeria. We have um, three lesson um, objectives. We want to know the meaning of federal system of government, factors that necessitated the adoption of federalism in Nigeria, and we will look at the advantages and disadvantages of federal system. Now, let's quickly go to the meaning of federal system in Nigeria. A federal system of government is one in which there is constitutional division of powers among different levels of government. That is, this level uh, of government gets their power from the constitution. Method used in the division of functions among the levels of government, we have the exclusive legislative list. This one is strictly for the federal government or central government. We talk about defense, we talk about currency, foreign affairs, for the federal government alone. We have the concurrent legislative list. This one is for both the federal government and the state governments. We have like schools. We have federal schools, we have state schools, hospitals, we have federal hospitals, we have state hospitals. Both federal government and state government can legislate here how in, in, when, when, when there, there is any conflict, the federal government will prevail. So if there's any conflict of um, interest, the federal government will prevail. And we have the residual legislative list. This one is for the state um, government. Yeah, we talk about market, we talk about chieftaincy affairs and the rest. Let's go to why adopting federalism in Nigeria. Number one, heterogeneity of society. That is, in, in Nigeria, we have differences. We have over 250 ethnic groups. It is only federal system of government that can bring us together. Size of the country. When a country is large, it is federal system of government that will be suitable for that country. You all know that Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Common historical background is another um, reason for adopting um, federal system of government. Geographical contiguity, that is the closeness of the various ethnic groups, shows that federal system of government will be very good for such area. Security consideration coming together to form a strong force against external uh, enemies. Fear of domination. In Nigeria, we have three major ethnic groups. Even though we have more than 50, uh, 250 ethnic groups, we only have three major ethnic groups. What happened to the minor ethnic groups? They will be afraid. But through federal system of government, they will come together without being um, afraid. Employment opportunities. In federal system of government, there's what we call duplication of offices. That alone will create jobs for people. To bring the government nearer to the people through local government, the government is now nearer to the people. Let's look at the advantages of federal system of government. Number one, unity in diversity. Despite the differences in our culture, in our tradition, in everything, we are united. It brings government closer to the people through local government, like what I said earlier on. Employment of opportunities is another um, advantage. Rapid development, prevention of emergence of dictatorship. The, because power is not invested in one body, therefore, nobody will abuse political powers. Grassroots political participation. Now we can participate in politics from our various local governments. Let's look at the disadvantages. It is costly to run. It is very costly because of duplication of offices and the rest. You need to pay more salaries. You need to build more structures and the rest. Lack of uniformity in administration because the, 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 the central government may decide to go this way, the state government may decide to go the other way. 
unhealthy rivalry between state government and federal government. Of recent, the, 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 the federal government said schools, um, churches, mosques should not be open. Why some state government open churches and mosques? You see the rivalry there. It breeds sectional consciousness. Many of us believe that I am a Yoruba man before I am a Nigerian. You see that it shows that there is no unity. Rigid constitution, we all know that rigid constitution is a constitution that is hard to amend. The problem of federal character principles, most of the federal government appointments is based on, it's not based on merit, it's based on your ethnic group. That is the meaning of that. Cessation is possible. Meant like what we're having, this group of people may want to pull out of the country and the rest. The problem of wealth sharing. How do we share the wealth in Nigeria? Thank you very much. We will continue in our global class. And the next topic we'll be looking at will be unitary system of government. Bye for now. <laughs>